The ultimate guide to discover the exquisite Sumba Island in Indonesia, lying at the eastern end of a chain of beautiful Indonesian islands, Sumba remains a mystery to most. Full of history and alive with indigenous culture, Sumba Island is also attracting attention for its unique wildlife and stunning natural beauty. With a land area of over 11,000 square kilometers, it is much larger than its more famous neighbors Bali and Lombok, yet it is largely untouched by the outside world. This island paradise remains a stunning mystery waiting to be explored by the more adventurous traveler. While increasing tourist numbers can be a double edged sword for islands like Sumba, a government initiative is underway to ensure it is developed responsibly. The aim is to develop the economy and power the island with clean energy, in order to lift local people out of poverty by making sure they benefit from the tourist dollars, while at the same time preserving local traditions and the island's ecology. This guide aims to help intrepid travelers explore the stunning white sand beaches, untamed wilderness and fascinating tribal villages of Sumba, without spoiling its natural beauty and untouched charm. The way to do that is to be mindful of the people of Sumba and their culture, traditions and religious practices, to understand the delicate ecological balance of the island and to respect the natural environment. And to get excited about the potential growth of Sumba's economy and the target to make it run on 100% renewable energy by 2025, only then can we truly enjoy the best Sumba has to offer while leaving a positive impact on its people, its economy and its natural majesty. Location Sumba lies at the southeastern end of an archipelago known as the Lesser Sunda Islands, which also includes Bali, Lombok, Sumbawa, Flores and Timor, among others. Sumba itself is part of the smaller sub-group known as East Nusa Tenggara, although Sumba Island is very close to Bali, less than an hour's flight away, it has a different geological makeup to the volcanic islands to the north, it is thought to originate from the Australian tectonic plate and therefore is made up predominantly of limestone, rather than volcanic rock and has a unique mix of Australasian and Asian flora and fauna. History there is little record of life on Sumba before the colonial settlers arrived in the 1500s. Archaeological digs have revealed human skeletons and clay jugs from the Paleolithic period, 2800 to 3500 years ago, and ancient megaliths from the Melanesian and Austronesian people who inhabited the island remain. Over the years, the local Marapu religion developed which has a system of beliefs surrounding life, birth and death, and rituals honoring ancestors and featuring deity worship. Marapu forms the basis of philosophical beliefs and cultural expression of Sumbanese people giving rise to the traditional places of worship Umaratu, distinctive architecture, decorative carvings, textiles, jewelry and weapons. In 1522, the first Portuguese ships arrived and later, Dutch colonialists came to Sumba, realizing the abundance of sandalwood on the island which they exported for large profits. The Sumbanese people remained and wars between clans were common. During World War II, the Japanese occupied the island but later fled as Australian troops amassed in northern Australia. On 17 August 1950, Indonesia took control and Sumba became part of the province of Nusa Tenggara Timur. The government left the clan and family power structures in place, meaning the larger, wealthier families remained largely in control. Since 2007, Sumba and the smaller islands surrounding it have been divided into four regencies West Sumba, Southwest Sumba, Central Sumba, and East Sumba. Local culture and traditions. Being relatively untouched by the outside world, Sumba Island has retained a wealth of fascinating local traditions that define its cultural identity. Examples of these can be found all over the island at traditional villages and burial sites, and during the festivals and celebrations that take place year-round. Architecture Villages of traditional Sumbanese clan houses, built around ancestral tombs, can be found across the island. The pointed roofs distinguish Marapu buildings, which are made of wood with a stone or wooden base and a roof made from alang grass. They are usually built on hills or mountainsides to be closer to ancestral spirits with the village enclosed by stone walls. Villages are usually arranged with the largest house in the middle. This is the ceremonial building used for rituals and rites for the whole village. A traditional house has three levels, each of which has a symbolic meaning. The underworld below the house Umadalu, is where the animals live, above that is the human living space Baga, and in the rafters and the peaked roof is the spiritual world where the gods and ancestral spirits reside Labu Baga. 
Only elders are allowed in this space, in which objects of spiritual significance are placed as offerings to the spirits and supplies are stored. According to Marapu beliefs, the levels of the house signify the harmonious relationship between man and God. The traditional house is not only a place to live and take shelter, it is also an important part of society and a place of ceremony. Ikat textiles the Sumbanese are famous for their handwoven ikat textiles, an intricate technique involving dyeing threads multiple times and intricately weaving them to form complex patterns. Different patterns signify different clans from different regions. An ikat garment can be a traditional piece of clothing worn in everyday life but can also hold a lot of value and be worn during ceremonies. The body of a high status person may also be wrapped in an ikat cloth as part of the burial ritual. Pasala festival between February and March, a traditional rite takes place barely changed for thousands of years, in which spear-wielding horsemen charge at one another attempting to knock the other off his horse. The display is in aid of a successful harvest and draws excited crowds, although these days it is more for the show, people still regularly get hurt during the ceremony as the spears used are the real thing. Megalithic structures Sumba Island is home to thousands of megalithic sites, where large stones have been erected or placed on top of each other in a show of respect for the dead. The sites are of great interest to archaeologists and a major tourist attraction on the island. Natural beauty One of the main attractions to Sumba is its outstanding natural beauty. The island is characterized by deciduous forests and undulating limestone hills and valleys, which hide a number of breathtaking waterfalls, a unique population of unique indigenous bird species as well as plenty of other exotic wildlife. Sumba Island also boasts stunning coastlines, where perfect white beaches meet the crystal clear azure ocean. Wildlife Sumba is home to more than 200 bird species, of which seven are endemic to the island and many more are found only in the region. Of the native species, there are three you are likely to see, the Sumba green pigeon, Sumba flycatcher and apricot-breasted sunbird, and four are considered vulnerable to extinction, the red-napped fruit dove, Sumba buttonquail, Sumba hornbill and Sumba boobook owl. Along with a number of mammals, the island is home to some saltwater crocodiles. The deciduous forests on Sumba have been designated an eco-region by the World Wildlife Fund for their distinctive mix of Asian and Australasian flora and fauna. Oh, 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 oh,